check one, one, two. Because test. all all women, you know, want to have sex with their fathers. Exactly. And so the more you look like their father, and that's exactly where the show <laughs> begins. <laughs> yeah. Women want know. to have sex with their father. I didn't know we were recording, mm-hmm. but I've I can attest I've gotten most pussy in my life from women with um, issues with their parents. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, they're blind, and I tell them I'm their dad. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, do like say, an Old Testament kind of thing. What? Well, that was a that was a thing in the Old Testament. A oh, guy, right. uh, a, a couple ladies, I think, tricked their dad into having sex with them. You're thinking of when he was uh, blind. You're thinking of Lot, I think. Well, yeah, it was it, or Abraham. Abraham. Oh, I think it was Abraham. Abraham, who after they fled Sodom and Gomorrah, you know that one where his wife turned into salt. That was Lot. right. Because they were running from the God burned a city down because everybody was a gay guy. Yeah, <laughs> and he burned it down. And when there he, is a story in the Bible, it's this, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah where we get sodomy, sodomy. from. That is right where sodomy came from, right? Yeah, yeah that's, which right. Is, that's just anal. Right, that's right. I've never understood how that's a crime. Yeah, it was a crime in England for a long. Oscar Wilde went to jail. Because in for, the states, people will be like, "Oh, he was charged with sodomy in '87," and I'm like, "I don't understand. How's that? It's rape, right?" Or can you go to prison for like? I is there a the, judge that's like life anal? Yeah, <laughs> Gr- gross, gross. That's <laughs> where shit comes out of. Put him away. I, I think mo- I don't know if it's a modern offense, but if it was, it would probably be rape. But back in the old days, they were literally they called it buggery in England. Buggery, or sodomy. Mm. So if you were caught with shit on your dick, you would go to English prison. You bugger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're just a little gnat. <laughs> Flying around the poop hole. Just flying around. You want to? You want a little Bible story, real quick, please? So Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham and his wife. What was that dumb bitch's no, it's, name? It's Lot and Sarah. Oh, yikes! What was his I, wife's name? I don't know. Apparently, Jace knows this is the his story. Wife was, was Sarah, I believe. And so the story was that God looked down. He's like, "There's way too many gay guys here." Yeah. So we've got to burn this whole city. The, to the mayor ground. was like Randy Rambo. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> It was just a whole, it was just Castro Street as one city mm, Okay. in biblical but, times. By the way, in the Bible, it makes it sound like basically these people are living in hell. What if it was like some sort of like like a paradise on earth? Oh, I'm sure it's, it's like great. Probably every, awesome. Every street is like Broadway. Everybody right. values their art. They're probably, probably high fashion. They're like, we only have co-op owned um, farmer's markets. Yeah. 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 It looked like Iran in the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just amazing. God's like, oh my God, they're so gay. Look at them. Hot on the beach. <laughs> look at them. Everybody has abs. I hate it. Mm-hmm. They're making me look bad with my normal God body. So so then, is so that where they say flaming gays too? Because like God <laughs> lit them on fire and shit? Probably. I, I don't know. Honestly. I don't know where that came from. So so God came to Lot and he told him, he goes, he goes I'm going to destroy the city. Get out. And Lot's like, don't. There's a lot of good gay guys here. Don't destroy the city. And God was like, if you can find ten good non-gay people, I mm. won't destroy the city. And then God like an Easter egg hunt, yeah, <laughs> right. And then God sent two angels to Sodom to visit Lot, and all the people in Sodom, the Sodomites, tried to fuck the angels because they saw them go into Lot's house, and they go, "Those are two hot guys who haven't been raped yet in Sodom." It was like if aliens just landed and all we tried to do was fuck them. Right. Yeah. As soon as they land, we, just, we start ma- pulling, the story, we pull our cocks out and start yeah. masturbating. Well, and we <laughs> would. <laughs> In the story, there's just a bunch of guys who look like Mateo Lane just banging on the door. Mm. And they go, let us fuck those angels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Lot's like, you can't. They're angels. You can't fuck them. Like, there's an angry mob in the street of people. Like, there's, it's like the DMV. There's like a line around his <laughs> right. house to, right. to for people to fuck the new thing because they're they're sick of fucking what they've been fucking. Yeah, they're looking for a new thing to fuck. If an alien lands, immediately they they go, "I'm gonna put my penis." Yeah, in they go, "Look, yeah. new holes on the horizon." <laughs> yeah, there's new holes out west. I hear new holes are landing. <laughs> that hole, that there's a whole mountain full of poon, <laughs> likes of which you ain't never seen. No, so they they're banging on the door and Locke goes, "Don't fuck the angels." Here's my daughters, and he gave his underage daughters for the crowd to fuck. Yeah, and they're like, we don't want to fuck them because they're not hot angel guys. Interesting. Yeah, and this is the inspiration for Chinatown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're very slightly out. Slightly of it. out. Yeah, there you go. I think as right. long as you're there, then you now you can lean back. Can I lean? Yeah, you're still in it. All right. I like leaning. Devin needs a little lean. I need Just to lean. Maybe lean like this. Maybe lean that way. There you go. Like this. Kicking yeah, around with your you foot. Go. There you go. Boo! Yeah, yeah, keep away from me. We're talking about queens. I'm like, Devin, you're not. Look at You're slouching. Jesus, the plane what? Just keeps crashing. I want it to be an world. educational show. Right. They're, they're turning the World Trade Center into hummus. 
this is this is when Ben closes his eyes is what he sees mm-hmm. on the inside of his eyelids. Yeah. This is all of Ben's dreams. It's just weird 3D renderings of 9-11. <laughs> you dream the news report from the day of 9-11. Yeah. Not even dreaming about it. Oh, like when I go to bed, I watch all nine hours. In yeah. My, it, on a projector in my head. <laughs> it plays on a wall. Yeah, you dream, and it's the day they wheeled those TVs into class. Mm. <laughs> and you just watch Brian Gumbel be like, well, it's a, it seems like an accident. Yeah. Ben goes mm. to sleep. He just counts the falling men <laughs> instead of sheep. He goes, one, two. He's a sick fuck. Yeah. He's a sick bastard. At the end, it, it fades to black, and it says uh, directed by the Coen brothers. <laughs> They're the only Jewish directors I can think of, so... I had, to, I had to say Woody that. Allen Steven Spielberg oh, it, it could have been Woody Allen yeah. oh how about uh, created by Dick Wolf at the Dick end Wolf. Uh, at the end of 9-11 is Dick Wolf Jewish? Uh, probably I don't know I think he probably goes after Jews he's a real wolf <laughs> I think it's, my headphones keep going out oh the sorry oh so Jace you gotta finish the uh, you gotta finish the tale though so then with people Sodom know how and, so get, then they oh Jace you're stepping on oh. your uh, you're stepping on your cord sorry here. I'm being a real gracie um <laughs> They're not in here right now. Where they? Where are they? Who knows? They're trying to get to the gay people. <laughs> <laughs> so God came to Lot and he goes, "Okay, there was everybody was too gay. They tried to fuck my angels. So you and your family need to get out. But don't look back when I'm destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, or I will something horrific will happen." And then they're fleeing the city, and then they hear this destruction behind them. Lot's wife, Lot, Lot's wife looks back at like just fire and brimstone coming from the sky and she gets turned into a pillar of salt and dies. Huh. Yeah. Okay. And then Lot takes, she, he fucks her for a while and then throws her away. Yeah. Because she's just all salt. It's really, it's one of the shittiest books ever written, I feel like. <laughs> the Bible. It sounds like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> well, the Old Testament is, it's, it's ridiculous and gay. It's, it's ridiculous horse shit. If you're going, mm-hmm. if you're going by the Old Testament at all, you're, you're, I mean, it's, I thought the old was the one that had the most cool shit. I think the old one is kind of where if you if you try to be very critical of the text, it seems they're talking to the devil the entire time, and they think it's God. Hmm. God like tells them to kill people and go out and like you know uh, eye for an eye and all that shit. He just tells them to be violent. And I then remember it totally switches in the in the yeah reboot. I never differentiated any of them. They were just it was just really boring shit. I had to learn in school. Mm-hmm. But I remember like I took Bible literature class my freshman year of high school because I had to, and I I didn't. I was open to God and Jesus, and I didn't know anything. But I wasn't raised on it at all. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll catch what you're throwing out there. Let me mm. let me read this thing a little sure. bit. Sure, East of Eden, I get it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Sure. Yeah, I loved like the I loved mafia movies, so like I kind of liked going to mass. Mm. Like I felt like I was like you know like you the, pretended you were in Mean Streets. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I pretended like I was repenting, like Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Like you know, <laughs> Vinny owes me money. Like, <laughs> you were you were repenting for fake crimes to a god exactly. you didn't believe in. I liked c- Catholicism because like the end of the Godfather, the sure. bells ringing, and there's a lot of hits happening. A lot of guys getting shot. You want to get baptized? Just so you can like slick your hair back with a comb. I love it. I love yeah. scenes like that. Mm-hmm. I love scenes like I love. A, I love a bad, a, a evil person watching his baby get baptized mm-hmm. for the first time, and you know he's about to become really bad. Sure, you know. So I just associated religion with like uh, uh, violence and mm-hmm. gang members and. <laughs> Like I thought, I I knew like a lot of Mexican guys in my mm. neighborhood that were like kind of in gangs, and they always had like the cross on them. And I was like, mm. Alan Iverson has a cross on. I'm like, man, cool people are religious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you thought like, the Catholics were like the Crips, yeah. Yeah, Devin's like smoking a cigar in church. <laughs> He's bringing his own like yeah. pot of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I got it's, it's Sunday gravy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I, and then I remember, but but then every story my Bible lit teacher would would uh, teach us and read us was like, it was all about like angels like raping people and mm-hmm. shit in a yeah, town. Yeah, wrestling with an angel. Yeah, or, and yeah. I remember one day my mom was like, so "How's class?" And I was like, "How's you know how how do you how are you feeling with the Bible lit class?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I mean, mom, I'm trying to." Get into it, but it's just they just everyone keeps getting raped all the time. It's mm-hmm. a lot of rape. She just started like cackling in the car, and it's uh, I, well, yeah. The follow up to the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah story is in there in a cave, and uh, the daughters uh, fuck the blind. Yeah, guy. Lot, Lot gets uh, too drunk, drunk and he and, uh, passes out, and then his daughters. Yeah, fuck. like they could they pretend to be. You know when Bugs Bunny would like put on a dress, <laughs> right? 
Like they did that to him. <laughs> yeah, his daughters he, came in with a big coconut bra and mm. a mop wig. Yeah. Just the fact that it's like they were even talking about anal in the Bible is hilarious. Well, it's like, remember, you know, uh, Ecclesiastical 316, Bukaki and Johnson. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, remember when God? Christ said stick to yeah. three categories? <laughs> you can have a few search words and that's it. Cream pies and Ezekiel. Uh, 314. Uh, yeah. Ezekiel, when he came down from the mountains and said traps aren't gay if you can't see their cock. <laughs> if they look enough like a woman and there's no cock, it's not gay. <laughs> Who can forget uh, Bang Bus and Josiah? And-, <laughs> <laughs> and God said to the Israelites, "You don't mix the semen. You can you can do a train, but a gangbang is gay." God said to the Israelites, "That's fake cum coming out of that monster of cock. It's soap. Yeah. It's soap, my son." Then, if he keeps holding the base, it's a fake cock. If he never lets go, it's an obviously look fake at him. Cock. Look at the thumb work. He's shooting soap out of the head. Son, son, son. I'm I'm God. I'm God. <laughs> Yeah, the, t- the two tablets just had every porn category from X videos. <laughs> he goes, and commandment one, ebony. Commandment two. I do love that they still call he, it they ebony. They call it ebony. He yeah. just goes, these are, these are your search words. Right. They call it ebony like you're reading Jet Magazine. <laughs> I know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm Scatman Crothers in The Shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just says, <laughs> I think that's my goal is if the Patreon gets big enough, I'm going to get Scatman Crothers' bedroom from The Shining. That'd be awesome, yeah. When they pull out and he's freaking out, and it's just like, it's like Pam Greer with her tits out just hanging behind yeah, his bed. Yeah, yeah. Just a bunch of like black exploitation like posters and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically what like Quentin Tarantino's doing now. That's yeah. what I'm Yeah, wearing a, like a Kangol cap, mm-hmm. that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start dressing like Samuel Jackson in 2004. Yeah, mm-hmm. you start dressing like Ordell Roby. <laughs> From uh, Jackie that? Brown. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird that sodomy used to be illegal though back in the day. Mm-hmm. You wonder if, like, in the future, as we become more progressive, if other things that are illegal now will eventually become. Because the whole like sexuality is is fluid throughout history, right? Sure. Yeah. My what? girlfriend's told me that. Yeah. Well, uh, but it's uh, like uh, the Spartans, right? The you know the Battle of Thermopylae and all that stuff. You see three hundred? Yeah, I've seen three hundred. Yeah, it's that. Speaking they... speaking Zack Snyder films for me, <laughs> please. I don't know the Battle of Thermopylae, or whatever the fuck you're saying. It was when the three hundred uh, of those guys fought the Persians, and there were tons of them. Okay, right. So the, you had the mm. Persian army when the, coming. When and the, the guys from three hundred fought that hot topic army, <laughs> yeah, yeah, from Persia. Yeah. Okay, and. Uh, uh, that those it's Athenian, right? They're they're Athens soldiers or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I think they I think they were a wider shade than the Persians. I'm not sure what was really going on. Persians there. are the original white people. They're called they're the, the most Caucasian on Did earth. Did not know that. Yeah. Did really? not know that. Mm-hmm, I think so. Pretty sure Persians are fully white. We just pretend, you know, we we ruined their country and we put like towels on their heads and shit, and then we like left and we're like, no, you're fucking, you're annoying. That's how we colonize countries is we give them hookahs. We give and- them, we go, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Go, start talking, like, <laughs> and then we'll bomb you. Yeah, get, get a mild sur- sunburn, get obsessed yeah. with rugs. Mm. Quite frankly, you're not bombable yet. Please be a little more like unfun. Yeah, mm. John it's- Wick would never kill you. It's just a, a general doing yes. the paper bag test. He goes, we can't bomb them yet. They're not even olive skinned. <laughs> just holding up that uh, that Family Guy Peter Griffin meme of the different shades. Of, yeah, that's of, the paper bag yeah, test. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did not know it was called that. Yeah. Learn something new every day being racist. Uh, that's but, uh, just, <laughs> just setting up your big no! clip compilation no, hold in four on. years. What clip compilation? The one where it says Ben Avery's a vicious <laughs> racist. <laughs> Anthony yeah. Cumia will always be just light years actually ahead of me, yeah, so of it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Right, but and, that's like comparing yourself to Adolf Hitler. <laughs> You're like, well, I didn't kill six million, so... <laughs> Anthony's in a lab uh, right now inventing new types of racism. <laughs> I like pouring things yeah. in beakers. beakers and- there's a chalkboard and he's like got mm. it. He's got a big N equals. He's like an alchemist for just racism. Mm-hmm. He's trying to disseminate things into yeah. their purest form. He's writing on a chalkboard with a gun with chalk at the end of it. <laughs> Using it the gun to hold the chalk. It ends with him like digging up Patrice's grave and mm-hmm. like getting making it struck by lightning and stuff. Yeah, he's yeah. Uh, wait, what were, we, what were we saying though? Oh, the 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 Spartans. They. What I'm saying is sexuality is fluid. Uh, uh, so then it was feminine to have sex with a woman because she's a woman, but it was masculine to have sex with a man. 
So if you were having sex with your, if you were anal sex with your brother, it would make you stronger together as warriors, essentially. Right. And so then you have that sort of blood uh, bond from having sex with one another. And then later, it's, you know, it's feminine to have sex with a guy. So now if you have sex with a guy, you're like, it's like, ooh la la, like, uh, it's not masculine at all. Right. When it totally, in terms of like a physical thing. It's it, a lot it, harder it def- to fuck a man, I feel like. Much mm-hmm. harder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can't just lay there. No, they're yeah. strong. No. <laughs> yeah. Fucking a man's like an obstacle course. Yeah. Like if you fuck a guy, you should be like a police officer afterwards. Mm-hmm. It's like you pass an exam. That should be, it should be like a, a like a, what's that? Um, American, Ninja, American Ninja Warrior. It's American Ninja Warrior. You should, you have, should to like, have to fuck a guy yeah. at the end. Yeah. At the end of it, you go <laughs> into you, a man's yeah, ass. You, you swing whole, across mm-hmm. slime and mm-hmm. all. <laughs> Guy's just nailing it like hooks and ladders, and then he just gets to the end. He's like, just having to beat off real quick. <laughs> so he could spit on his dick and yeah, fuck a guy. Like when you get to the top of Everest, you should have to bang like an old like Nepalese man in the ass. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah one Sherpa. He's the one Sherpa. You, they. You fuck. have to fuck your Sherpa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like not into it at all. <laughs> he <hates> it. <laughs> he's just like, well, you he's know. like, this is the Americans. They always rape me. <laughs> they come here with their Subarus and they rape me. <laughs> Just driving a Subaru all the way up the side of Everest. Yeah. They're like, famously, you'll pass a lot of dead bodies with their cocks out. They didn't get quite... They knew they were going to die in the cold, so they got one beat in before they fucked the next I love those pictures of people that died in In ancient civilizations and shit. They're they're just like holding their dick. Yeah, Mm. the guy at Pompeii. Yeah, the Pompeii guy. Love Mm. that guy. That guy has... He had the idea that we all had as kids... When you were like, dude, what are you gonna do if like you find out like you were a meteor's just, coming, a meteor's coming, yeah, yeah. and everyone was like, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 they did that. Yeah. yeah, now it's just all start huffing computer duster again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I would love to be the guy on a plane going down. And you're like, fuck it, I'm just gonna beat off real quick. Mm. Yeah, that'd be great. Just pull your dick out, and then they <laughs> they they get it straight. And then you're just like a sex criminal for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. figure it out. Yeah. And they, they, like everybody's screaming. And yeah. It's like it's almost screaming. famous. They're like, no, the plane's okay now. And you're like, your cock's out. <laughs> yeah. They're like, thank God we're safe. And you're like, yeah, I know. You're just covered in cock. You're and- slapping people with your dick. And they're like, we made it. We made it. And you're like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. It's what you thought the barf bags were for. To like, they're like a cock sock. And you try to hand it to the stewardess. Here you go. And it's just full of. Leaking cop. Forgot to do Swift Face, by the way. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Shit. Did you eat? <laughs> <laughs> I had Wing Stop. And they have three new flavors. <laughs> you got the boneless, though. You got What are you doing no, no, with no, the no, boneless? No. My, first of all, my wife ordered. Okay, give me a second. Let me do all right, do your fucking right. Sw- All right, all right. Come on. Don't make me look like a fool. <laughs> don't make me look like an idiot. Don't make me look like a fool. You're making me look like an asshole. <laughs> now, let me, let me get on my knees and do Soy Face for money. <laughs> I really, I do think I've seen, said it before. I do hope we're doing the podcast oh. to the point where Ben has to get like orthopedic surgery <laughs> to keep doing soy face. Yeah, like he's he's doing physical therapy for his face. Like he's a NFL player. Yeah, he's going to Germany like LeBron to get his knees fixed, but for soy face. <laughs> do you think by the time I'm 35, I will be walking? Like this? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I gotta start doing yoga or something. But uh, my. First of all, Wingstop has three new flavors. Hmm. So, my wife te- my wife did the thing where she's like, "Text me what you want," so I don't fuck it up. Jace, Jace vetoed on. He gets too stressed about things like that, so he goes, "You just pick for me." Well, it's it's so hard. To, he, it's hard to be the third. It's hard to be the third wheel to like a married couple in their eighth year of marriage, and they're just having a married couple argument. Right. You're like, I feel like I'm like at my parents' house, and again. you're like, guys, let me fix this mango habanero. <laughs> Guys, let me step in. Jamaican jerk, all right? Who are we fucking kidding? They have... These flavors are so amazing. There's three new flavors. I really hope they don't get rid of them. Because I've had them a couple times now. They have Crunch Time, Pure Mayhem, Hot Honey Rub, and then the Meltdown. I'm sorry, they have four. Wow. What are they? What are the ingredients in Melt... What's the Meltdown? The Meltdown is savory garlic tossed with bold Cajun seasoning and buttery Parmesan. Eh. Next. Uh... Then we have Crunch Time, which is sweet honey and zesty lemon combined in a fiery dry rub. That could work. I had it. It's delicious. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay, next. Uh, pure Mayhem, which I haven't had this one yet, but this is very interesting. Pure Mayhem? What is that, a school shooting wing? Getting, is it not recording, Jace? No, no, you're fine. I was just, I was staring off into space. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pure Mayhem, developed by Adam Lanza. <laughs> I do love how every... <laughs> Every Wingstop flavor does sound like it's on the board yeah. at Raytheon somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like they're coming up with new names for mustard right. gas. Pure mayhem. Right. What they're using on the series. Yeah. We got honey mustard gas. <laughs> we put some we put some sweet uh, bourbon kick to it. They just all like Guy Fieri. Yeah, guys. Guy Fieri, but like world leader Guy Fieri. Right. Yeah. Well, he's like he's like we got a fucking missile that turns into samurai swords to minimize civilian casualties. We're turning your country into Flavor Town. <laughs> you know what Lebanon could use a little bit of spice. <laughs> Let's kick some spice into Syria. By the way, the, Guy Fieri's uh, version, is that how you say it? Guy Fieri. Fieri. It. Fieri. Fieri. He's Italian, so I say it. How it's, Fieri. They, it's Fieri. I say it how they say it over, over the pond, across yeah. the pond. On the mm-hmm. other side. <laughs> On the other side, they can say the Guy Fieri food. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they came out with a place. Uh, Guy Fieri came out with a place that's supposed to rival Dave and Buster's. Really? Yeah, it's. I think it's it, literally called Flavor yeah, Town. It's Dave and Buster's, but they have real guns everywhere for the games. <laughs> the buck, the, the buck hunter just has a deer tied up in the back. You shoot. <laughs> the yeah, the yeah. whack a mole is just a mole in a box with a hammer in front of it. Uh, yeah, you get to you get hooked up, hungry, hungry hippo style to eat mm-hmm. in the fucking. Damn, you love those those Guinnesses. Uh, but this is the it's Dave and Buster's basically so it's Flavor Town, and you can go and I think it's one of those things where it's like you pay fifty bucks, uh, and then you go in and you just get to do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just go look. You come in, give us fifty bucks. We'll look the other way. No one's gonna judge. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you order on an iPad on your table. Someone comes out. They won't make eye contact with you. No one's going to judge you, and then you can just go crazy. Mm-hmm. You yeah, go they're, absolutely insane. They're like, we'll give you a pig carcass 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll take whatever back we get. <laughs> if you're too cheap, we'll give you somebody else's fucked pig carcass. You can do what you it's want with the rest of it. It's people eating like, uh, you know those scenes in movies where it's like the the uh, the people are finally, it's the harvest? Yeah. And so everybody, all the crops are being yielded and all mm-hmm. the all the, the yeah. calves are slaughtered. Somebody's and it's cutting, crazy. Somebody's cutting their food with a scythe. <laughs> a big a big Amish lawnmower <laughs> to like butter their bread. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those things where it's like the table is somehow it's it's a mile long. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just covered with that's yeah. That's your to dinner. fit your belly on top of. <laughs> yes. That is a Guy Fieri flavor town, but it will. We will re- reach a point where every weed strand and flavor at Wingstop will be indecipherable. You won't be able to know sure. if it's like sativa indica or like spicy, right? Yeah, garlic parmesan mm. indica. Yeah, yeah. Good uh, hot hot gorilla glue. <laughs> uh, and then the uh, the one that's really good that I my personal favorite is the hot honey rub, which is very simple. They didn't like. They didn't go crazy with it. Simple's the best. That's what I say. You know what I say? K I S S. You know what that stands for, Jace? What does it stand for? Keep it stupid simple. Or keep it simple <laughs> stupid. Keep it simple stupid. Keep it simple mm-hmm. stupid. Uh, hot honey rub, sweet honey, and a fiery dry rub. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. And it's it's way better than if you're a fan of lemon pepper. So much. This is so much better. Than they, all that other th- shit. Lemon pepper is rarely done right, unless you're in Atlanta or like you find like a Korean family that has like been working on the recipe their whole yes. lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like they find the spices themselves. And, y- yeah, in, in fields where it's it's layered like that. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. Jim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yep. yeah, it's like Narcos, but they're just building wing spices. <laughs> Devin was when he came over. We worked Devin up into a rant about Buffalo Wild Wings. He was going crazy. Oh, I mm-hmm. didn't have much to say. I just they have. Uh, the prices are amazing for an alcoholic. They're amazing. That's prices. what we were we were saying yeah. is that we're gonna Devin's just gonna start going there and I'm just gonna start drinking there. I mean, it was like it's one of those places where they like you know a beer. You it's uh, from you know noon to nine mm. p.m. It's like five dollars off beer because yep. yeah, they just yeah. want to get you hammered. So you start ordering all the wings. And the, well, yeah. what was great is like your fa- like your grandfather had like a like an old saloony type place, and then your dad 
had like his hole in the wall, like dive, like a Steve Buscemi in the Barfly. Sure, like yeah. he had a cool place like that, and now you have Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, no, it's it's you an, get to go watch women's basketball. This is the best era to be alive. <laughs> By it's, far. It's so much better than an old timey saloon in the eighteen fifties of a guy playing a piano and there's oh. a there's a bear playing the fiddle and went like whores are just getting fucked in the upstairs rooms. I don't want that. Mm. I wanna go to a place where people have the Dodgers logo tattooed on their eye. <laughs> You're damn right. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see a guy with with the cat eye contacts, <laughs> show, doing doing a spicy wing challenge and dying during the challenge. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I want to get uh, hammered and eat wings next to a, a guy wearing a shirt with a <laughs> naked woman smoking a blunt and holding a diamond. I would like to eat at the restaurant from Wally. I think that would be great. <laughs> Which is Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, it's basically Buffalo Wild. I want to order yeah. food and be like, make sure they microwave it extra good this time. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! Can you leave, can you leave the plastic? I like to eat that after. <laughs> leave it in the bu- in the plastic bag, please. Thank you. I when you pour it out of the plastic bag, you lose some sauce. <laughs> so what what me and my fellow comrades do is we we ball up the plastic and we suck on it like a big wad of yeah. tobacco. I like to go to restaurants and order Dino Nuggets <laughs> from Kroger. I love this. I love this guy so much. Mad Trip Designs is the one man operation run by Michael Dirty. Michael Dirty. I like that name. Michael Dirty. From St. Louis, Missouri. If you're a comedian or a musician looking for poster art, album artwork, or merchandise designs, visit www.madtripdesigns.com to contact Michael for a free quotation. Uh, quotation. Michael also has, well, it's free. You might as well just. Might as well uh, ring the guy. Mm -hmm. Michael also has fine art prints and merchandise available for sale on the site. I went to the site. Some pretty incredible stuff. Mm -hmm. And he sent you a pretty cool um, free piece of artwork, you as um, as a a racer head. It was me doing soy face as a racer head. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. Yeah, Yeah. it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. But his, uh, you gotta, the link is in the description here. You gotta go check his stuff out because it's it's great and. You should honestly, you should just message this guy uh, some sort of, uh, you know, whatever you need. And this guy could, guys, don't do the AI art stuff. Come on. What are you? I mean, you literally, I mean, who, what is wrong with you? What is mm-hmm. wrong with you if you need art for stuff and you just do AI? Yeah, what's the point Fuck of anything you. you care about? Fuck you. Just you like stand for nothing. Make it. Yep. Stand for nothing. Every time you do that, something horrible is going to happen to you. Mm-hmm. I promise you. I promise you. Mm-hmm. Use Michael Darity instead. Uh, so to see more of Michael's artwork, visit www.madtripdesigns.com or follow him at Mad Trip Designs if you just like cool stuff. Uh, thank you for always making me laugh, Ben. It truly means a lot. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to read that, but uh, pretty cool that he just said me. I, I, I'm into it, too. Whatever. Right. I know I the email is just addressed to me. Yeah, but... I followed up, emailed, and said, hey, I'm on the show, too. And he's like, I don't really care. I but don't like, care, yeah. Yeah, where do I need to Venmo the money to? I'll send it back. Or whatever keeps the ads coming in. Bub. He goes, do not like you. Mm. That's okay. Thank you. Uh, so, Michael, I don't know if you wanted us. I don't. I hope that's an. Did okay you read ad. all the the stuff I highlighted? The copy. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it says, "Thank you for always making me laugh, Ben. It truly means me a lot. Keep those Kool Aid jammers away from Jace." That's what I wanted to. Yeah, he threw one in there. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. So. Uh, Cool. Yeah, check out his yes. artwork. He's check just out a, Michael Doherty's just artwork. Just a big fan of the show and but, support him. Uh, well, he looks like he's a big fan of me, but I mean, it says... <laughs> sure, sure, but... Ch- it check. looks like he's kind of shitting on Jace here, actually. Mm-hmm. Well, ch- I would still encourage you to Regard, check out check his... Check it out. Yeah, his stuff. Check it out. Mm-hmm. You could... You, yeah. You could kill my grandmother for 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my, Michael, thank you. I'll take you out to California Pizza Kitchen if I if I ever see you out CBK there on the streets. CBK on us. Thank Ooh. you, Michael. Love you. MadTripDesigns.com, folks. Meta PCs builds custom high-end computers built for gaming, video production, <laughs> editing, and anything requiring a quality system. Oh. Uh, they're paying, uh, folks. They're paying top dollar for the cringiest ad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they said, they said in the notes, be as cringy as possible. They so. saw our last ad and they said, this doesn't make us want to blow our brains out. Ayo, <laughs> ooh, 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 meta PCs, oh, make the most disgusting face you can. <laughs> uh, visit metapcs.com and pick the components for your new computer. 
Meta then assembles it and stress tests it to ensure it's plug and play when it arrives on your doorstep. We also offer free pre-configured ready to ship computers that ship the next business day. When we say pre-configured, wink. It's pre-configured, if you know what I mean. I don't know if I it's, know what you mean. Yeah, no, it's like sure a either, uh, it's like a baseball mitt that's already got the Vaseline and the ball and the rubber bands in it. If you know what I mean, and it's been sitting in the closet, and then they ship it to you. If you know what I mean, I can't. You know, I can't really say it. What I'm, what I want to say, because then they'd probably be mad, and then YouTube would be mad too. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking. You about. You guys get it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's pre-configured, folks. Uh. <laughs> Meta PCs only uses high quality components. You can sure you're getting the best quality right. computer possible. We need to stop doing these ads after we do three <laughs> hours of podcasting. Because <laughs> it's always we're hot and sweaty. And, and my like, head feels like a blimp mm-hmm. for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I'm covered in salt. I feel like Dagwood after he's had a big sandwich. That's exactly what I was going to say. Where is it really? No. Oh. <laughs> who is Dagwood, by the way? He's fu- he's the guy who fucks Blondie and Blondie. No. But it's really about Dagwood and he eats big sandwiches. I thought, it was, but who's Archie? Hmm? Who's Archie? It's a completely different comic book. Who? Who the fuck is Jughead? Jughead's the guy who fucks Archie and eats a bunch Oof. of hamburgers. Man, the fifties were nuts, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, a lot of other worse stuff happened besides those <laughs> names. But the, I mean, the cartoons was just a guy that wanted to fuck a lady. Yeah, yeah it was pretty that's much definitely it. It was Popeye, right. Jughead. Simple. Yeah. yeah, they would just get their cock stuck in a, a hole where like a mouse is supposed to go. Mm-hmm. You know the mm-hmm. little, because you know in uh, cartoons how there's always like a d- little door for the mouse to go in. Mm-hmm. Never seen anything like that in my life. Nope. Like in real life, Mm-mm. I don't know where anybody got that idea that mouses like made their own doors. Yeah, and I do think that's the worst thing that happened in the fifties. Yeah. <laughs> it was like an exterminator that like got mm-hmm. sent here from the Holocaust. <laughs> And he tried using those methods on mice. You anyway. can customize your PC to fit your style <laughs> with custom graphics and uh, designs. And they only use high quality components so you can ensure you're getting the best quality computer possible assembled here in the United States. All of our support and staff is also based here in the United States. That's great. Can't. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, here. you're holding a sausage, Ben. <laughs> Damn, Love Meta PCS. I'll, Not bad. I'll, all Meta PC <laughs> systems come with lifetime service and support guarantee. Whether you're looking for a desktop or laptop, go to metapcs.com and use code Lemon to save on your new PC. Go to metapcs.com and use code Lemon to save on your new PC. Back to the show. Thank you, Meta PCS. Because that's even worse going to the Buffalo Wild Wings and being like, I'm going to get the uh, penne uh, a la carte, like fettuccine. You yeah. know to say it like that? Yeah. The fettuccine. Well, we went to uh, California <laughs> Pizza Kitchen <laughs> last week. And Jace got like the like nice pasta, like the Cajun it's whatever. Not even, I got the jambalaya fettuccine. <laughs> jambalaya fettuccine. And I've never seen like sauce that like glistened more. It just, I could see my whole reflection in his plate. Yeah, yeah. I know. It, it was, was like, like ordering a, pond water. Yeah. <laughs> it was like I was eating pixels. <laughs> and I told you, I took like three bites. You guys got pizzas, yeah, like yeah, sensible yeah. people. I got like three bites. I go, man, this is really hurting my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> but it cost $28, so I have to keep eating. It was a $100 bill. Yeah. yeah. It was $100. At California Pizza Kitchen. We each got three, three items. Mm-hmm. And I, I drank got, water. Uh, yeah. Three items and I got a beer. And yeah. it was a hundred dollars at yeah. California Pizza <laughs> Kitchen. Devin turns to the waitress and goes, Do you guys have Sam Adams on draft? <laughs> I yeah. go, I'll have that. Yeah. And then I remember at some point in the when we were you go, I you turn to everybody as we're walking to our table, you like look around. It's a California pizza kitchen that seats maybe seven hundred people. Yeah. It's like an it's- arena. It's a thing you'll find in the valley where it is a Roman Coliseum of of being retarded, mm-hmm. and it's just complete. There's four people inside of it. There's a there's a child king at one table mm-hmm. who's just dining yeah. alone. Yeah, yeah. He's inherited a fortune somehow. Right. Now you his parents like, have murder suicided each other and left them all like, his yeah, money. Yeah, did like a plague, like a Last of Us thing, head or something, mm-hmm. and. Like, I don't know about it yet. It had that feeling. It, it felt like a bunch of, like, families were hiding out. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they're going to have to start do adding things. That, like, you're going to have to be able to go get a gun permit at California Pizza Kitchen mm-hmm. just to, like, they need to start having stuff like that so they get more business. All of these places, you should be able to come in quickly, like, in a frantic, like, mood and just be like, oh, give me a flare gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You need, like, home ration kits and yeah, stuff exactly. to take home. Give me an MRE. <laughs> mm-hmm. Give me just a, a gallon of distilled water. I need some lead. <laughs> I need a cube of tungsten and a bass boat. Pound of thermite. I'll take the chopped salad and some iodine. You have those cylinders for revolvers? I got the handgun. I lost the thing that spins. <laughs> um. And there's, so, there's something about being... <laughs> There's something about being in such a corporately designed place in the valley. At, oh, yeah. Completely empty. At midnight, that's completely empty. That really, like, accentuates, like, the depression that's naturally inside of your brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you're saying, I was sitting there, we're having a great time talking about stuff, and then I look over, I'm like, what if I just crawled inside that big pizza oven and died? <laughs> He's like, what if I put my whole body inside the pizza oven? <laughs> How are we guys doing tonight? <laughs> oh yeah, they, much better than you probably. It was one of those places too where they, the waitresses like had to be happy. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. I know, man. I feel yeah. so bad. Like they're like, but, how are you guys doing tonight? And you want to like have a shotgun under mm-hmm. the table, like mm-hmm. it's the hateful eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just swing it at them. Mm. <laughs> well, those are the only places you get any service though. Yeah, yeah. Every other yeah. place, every like independent owned place, like you walk in, they're just like, fuck off, like yeah. take a seat, fag. Mm-hmm. Like, there's yeah. nobody working anywhere anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, no, we gotta no. get this country right. <laughs> that's right, Devin. And that's why I'm going down to Huntington Beach. Devin Costa, everybody. <laughs> you hear a lot of a lot of people. It goes dark. Me and Jace leave the set, and I... there's just a spotlight on Devin. He's like, "Have you ever noticed that nobody wants to work?" I mean, anymore? I'm kidding. I'm not trying to sound like some sort of fucking you know Daily Wire hack, right. but. Uh... <laughs> Devin gets two Guinnesses. He thinks he's on Club Random I am all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I, I thought I was on Club Random. What the fuck? I think here's a secret to having a successful business nowadays. Hire anyone to work there. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah, sure. No. Yeah, sure. Every place I go to that's not a chain, right. you wait and for you do 20 th- to 30 minutes for anyone to acknowledge you are alive. Because right. mm-hmm. there's one waitress covering 45 tables. I know. And then you can't even complain because you feel bad. Because you're like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, she comes over. She's like, I'm really sorry. The owner hates you. So <laughs> he hired. He's not even paying me. I'm a slave. Also, all these places hired like the Hell's Angels to be their like security and bouncers now. Yeah. It's insane out there. Mm-hmm. You go to a fucking bar. It's like Altamont. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's like a there's like a guy in front of the California Pizza Kitchen holding a big sword. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like like, Are you rad milk? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yeah. That's a fun police report. Yeah, God rest, rest his soul. Rest in peace. Anyway. Who yeah. knows what happened? Nah, no one knows. Who knows what he did? He could be alive for all we know. He's alive. Come on. He's with Tupac in Cuba. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say something about Cowboy and Pizza Kitchen, but I can't remember now. But oh, yeah, Devin's walking around and Devin looks. And then uh, you're such a, you have this like wild uh, glint in your eye. And you kind of look around at the joint and you go, I think we just found our new spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And then immediately, Jace got sick. It took us three hours to eat there. Mm-hmm. That's why it's our new spot. Yeah, right. It we might should all get sick each week. So there. Right. It, it's just nice because it's fr- it was big. It's on Ventura. It's on Ventura. It's free. It was just like mm-hmm. it had a nice Starbucks vibe. Yeah. You know how Starbucks is like a middle class homeless shelter. <laughs> it's just everyone mm-hmm. there is on their laptops, like trying to get their job back. Sure. Like they were. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were fired that day. Mm-hmm. They their internet was canceled. Mm-hmm. They're at Starbucks. You get a right. venti ice water. Yeah. They got hired at that Starbucks that morning. That morning they doing got hired. the Starbucks interview. Exactly. Yeah. They go to the bathroom. They shower up. You know, use the toilet water. It, it seems like everybody at Starbucks is trying to like Photoshop a document of like their father's will <laughs> to like to like change stuff and move stuff around and then put it back in a in like a folder. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Ocean's Eleven style mm-hmm. back on his. Computer. Everyone at Starbucks, if you overhear their conversation, they're like yeah. So just put him on the life insurance. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, you're right. Everybody, no, he's still alive. He's, he's still alive. alive. No, no, nothing's going to happen. He's, he's not sick. Nothing. No. Yeah, everybody at Starbucks has like an Ocean's Eleven plan to like get housing back. A good but it's like, to get housing back. Yeah, but they're like meeting with four wise guys and they're like, here's how we, here's how we do it. We get the Chinese guy. We get the Italian guy. We bring him in. I'm going to get that apartment back. Sell me this pen. 
that uh, the, I think the if you if you're getting a monthly check from the government, okay, and you're and you know you're gonna die, you should die in your home. And, and just tell your family, I'm going to, I have this terminal illness. When I die, just lock me away in a room and like put a, you know, you put a towel in the slit of a yeah. door. So like you, smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So you can like hot box. Do that so you can't smell my body. And then just like keep collecting the, you, you need the income. Mm-hmm. I, I won't need it anymore. So just pretend I'm still alive. Right. You know? But you get more if the guy had life insurance and you just say he died. That doesn't work anymore, right? When really old people die, did, is there any money? Like if you're 90. Oh, right. I guess so. That World War II veteran that we flipped off last episode and yeah. we said it's an old uh, piece of shit. Yeah. And when that guy dies, he's not. He doesn't get a check for like a million dollars from a. I don't know. I don't really know how life insurance works. but I know Trump changed the death I, I thought the longer you've been paying I into think, it, the more know. you get. Oh, is that how it works? I don't know. I thought if you die young, you get a bigger payout. I think you're probably right. Yeah. I think like it's, if you die I think when it's you're based thr- on how embarrassingly you die, you get a bigger payout. Right. Oh, is that right. true? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's true. Like, so if you get pants to death, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, you get like $400 if get, million. Dollars. If you get high-towered in a video and, and you crack your head yeah. open. Yeah. Like okay. Anton Yelchin probably got, like his family <laughs> sure. got like $100 billion there. Like, I mean, he died with like the Benny Hill music playing. Right. His Jeep killed him. His was he tried to put his car in a in park and he went behind it and like looked at the tire and then it yeah, rolled over like his neck. Yeah, he like stared at right? like a woman's big tits and he like ran around the block for a while like down 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 steam was shooting out of his ears yeah 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 his tongue was rolling down like he a had red like carpet. a sunflower on his shirt that he like squirted seltzer mm-hmm. water out of and then a the, car hit him they do say when he <laughs> they did say when he looked back and saw the car he went <laughs> <laughs> and then what was what was really sad about his death is he tried to run away, but he was just spinning his legs in the air because oh, he hasn't sure. taken off yet. No, I get that. He's going, <laughs> Weird thing. Speaking of, uh, that always happened in a Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. What was it called? Coyote and Roadrunner. Sure. Roadrunner and Coyote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was it called? Uh, Road Coyote and Roadrunner. Roadrunner and turn, Coyote. Turn, I forget the how. Is this it like went. a Mandela effect thing? Yeah, it is. Where it's like it is. It, it, it's like it's Kleenex, not it's tissue, not Kleenex. Oh, was that what it is? I thought it was always Kleenex. Me too. Kleenex is a company. It's not tissues. Kleenex is a company. It uh, makes tissues. It's like Coca Cola making or Xerox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Anyway, back to making uh, fun of this dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I do we're... like who Ben will turn to you all like like you're on Larry King and be like, was it Wiley Coyote? <laughs> Go. Coy- oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the Roadrunner and Coyote? What was it? Go. You're on the air. I've been watching since. Look, I'm not going to divulge where I live now, but where I live, I got a. I, uh, it's a beautiful place, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, it's running amok with uh, deadly coyotes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That uh, I mean, I feel like death is knocking at my door. Yeah. Everywhere I look, every neighbor says I can't let uh, Gracie or Emma out. Or I was thinking about, I'll tell you this. This is how I, I feel limited in my, in my range of uh, decisions I can make in my life. I thought about getting a, uh, uh, rescuing a basset hound. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> you had to go on hunts last for, week. for old-timey black <laughs> criminals. <laughs> they have huge ears. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they mm-hmm. really suck. They're completely useless as animals. You would be using them to find Nick Akata. Yeah. <laughs> you would give... Uh, letting it smell a talkie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Letting it smell a talkie. There's like... <laughs> it finds it's Nick lead- Akata's apartment in Hollywood. Yeah, it's like leading you through creeks and... St- is that uh? What the hell is that? I think that's probably uh, Gracie scratching her oh. self. Shut up, retard! Is that Emma? Here, I'll let her in. Is that the, what are they like? They're hammering things. <laughs> the dogs have the power to hammer. I'm just talking about how it's such a nice place, and now it seems like I live in a small one bedroom apartment. <laughs> Is this where you sleep, Ben? <laughs> like, I live in Moscow, Russia now. Right. And we have to be a... Well, you, it's the thing where you moved in and they just told you they're, like, starting... They're constructing an entire building across the street the day oh. you move in. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. The, the, oh, I was going to say about these... Uh, I was going to rescue a basket hound named Nike. Really cute. Katie was sending me pictures of it. She wants a third dog like crazy. You sent us a video of it and we're like, it's a cute dog. But Devin pointed out its dick was like dragging across the floor. Its dick was way too big. It was like a Lexington steel dog. (laughs) 
<laughs> it had an engorged penis and its red tip was falling out of the out of the dog hood. Yeah, yeah it somehow had a prolapsed cock. <laughs> There was like goo and shit like falling out of it. I was like, please do not. I don't want to look at that yeah. dog's dick all day. Mm-hmm. I, I do love Ben wanting to get that dog like just you know, like dress up like you run a chain gang just out back. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm he's running through creeks and stuff. <laughs> I'm starting to I start riding a horse around. I get a shotgun. <laughs> You're wearing a big sheriff's hat. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, if I now well, the coyotes here. I mean, what am I going to rescue next? A flame and yawn? If these dogs, these Emma, I mean, you don't think Emma is not going to get snatched? These coyotes, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, they will hop a fence about eight feet, about eight feet high. They can grab a dog and just jump, oh, and then it's just completely gone. Yeah. They'll pretend to be, uh, they're incredibly sophisticated. They'll uh, pretend to be like limp, like they're hurt, mm-hmm. and a dog will come up to it, and then they'll fuck it up. They'll fuck it they'll up. Fuck it up. But- Medium-sized dogs usually are okay, unless it's like a rabid pack of coyotes, you know? I was walking just the other day, and a coyote came up to me and Emma and Gracie on the street right here. Really? As I, was, is, I'm bending o- I was bending over like to pick in- up uh, the, the biggest uh, pile of shit I've ever seen from Emma, and I as I pick it up, I turn around, and the coyote has come out of a, a, a thing of brush mm-hmm. and is looking at us, because mm-hmm. it knows as soon as I turn around that it goes, oh, now I can get closer and see what's going on. The coyote, what did it what did it do? It came up to you and it was like, Your podcast cringe. <laughs> yeah. And that coyote came up and was like, Have you seen collateral? <laughs> That's the thing. Uh Bruh. Podcasts or uh, coyotes, mm-hmm. uh, they're very romantic LA creatures. Mm-hmm. Yes. So you should like that you're around them. It's, I do. It's like that beautiful scene in collateral. Right. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're beautiful creatures. They're very intelligent, but they're gonna kill Emma and Gr- Emma got out already for an hour and I lost her. Yeah, they could kill her. Or they'll make her king. Yeah, I could see. <laughs> I could see Emma falling in and being like the the you know Oliver Twist type character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where Emma's like fucking up other things more than the coyotes. And sure. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, oh, she's out of yeah. her mind. Like Emma, go, Emma goes and like bites a kid's ear off, and they're like, oh Jesus. <laughs> the coyotes are like, wow, you're racist. <laughs> the coyotes are like, listen, you're gonna fuck our whole thing up. We steal chickens and small dogs. Mm. You just tried to fuck a kid. They could dig tunnels. <laughs> the dogs will probably be all right. Yeah, yeah I think they'll they, be fine. I'm just saying, coyotes are one of the most sophisticated creatures on the planet. They're very, they're very intelligent. They can get in and out of anything. They, they also, can dig tunnels on their places. We say that about literally every animal. Mm. Have you ever noticed that? So that every animal is a fucking we say genius. That, we say that. About, I noticed this recently. It's yeah. a new thing. Yeah, I we say that this. about pigs. They're we just, literally, everyone loves. <laughs> every time you talk mm-hmm. shit about a dumb animal, somebody mm-hmm. comes in and goes, "Actually, they went to the moon." <laughs> No, I found this out recently about like whales are incredibly yeah, intelligent. Right. They can talk to each other across the world right. yeah. uh, through clicks and clacks. And then I found out- Why that don't they this, speak yeah. they're so smart? Yeah, why don't they have phones? <laughs> yeah, huh? why don't they get a phone? <laughs> <laughs> they can't even watch porn when they want. <laughs> Dumb whale. Dumb retard Idiot. whales. And then I was looking up this bird that I saw. It was like a, a blue- Thing. I forget what it was called. Some sort of like finch kind of bird. Sure, yeah. I looked it up and the Wikipedia immediately says, this is one of the, and it's just a dumb fucking bird I saw going, beep, beep, beep. You know, just a retired bird going, right. beep, beep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just on a wire. Yeah. He's next to a thing that if he hops on it, he's fried and dead. Right. And then somebody out there is like, actually, that bird invented the little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Dude, I looked at it and then Wikipedia immediately pops up and it goes, this is the most intelligent bird that probably has ever existed. They're known thieves. Uh. Their consciousness has uh, has evolved to understand the passage of time. Sure. And so now then they take things from squirrels and they take things from other birds and they store things and they have incredible memory yeah. where they can remember up to like a thousand locations of where they've stored nuts and <laughs> seeds and things like that. Everything I read. And then they go, yeah, you know, fucking octopuses are insanely smart. Fucking orcas Mm -hmm, are incredibly mm -hmm. intelligent. Then I'm watching uh, uh, this documentary on rattlesnakes the other day. And they, this documentary is going on and on about how these guys, you know, no one has ever had it harder than rattlesnakes, and now they can't cross freeways, and they're dying out like crazy, they're good. and they're very intelligent, and they're yeah. actually harmless, they're yeah. actually great for the environment, we shouldn't be killing snakes sure. when we find snakes. They're harmless. Every documentary about an animal, it feels like it's made by the animal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same way. Yeah. I'm like, who, who directed this? Yeah, there's a rattlesnake in like a fucking big hat, like the fucking mm. Ron Howard hat. <laughs> <laughs> that like fucking in, hat. In a director's shirt going yeah. like, what's that? 
we're the we're good for nature. <laughs> With its little tail. No, they act like the rattlesnake was like, oh, I don't want to. I, I want to like warn people before I hurt them. So I'm gonna build a rattle. Mm. <laughs> it just happened. No, no, no. This is what the thing says in the documentary. It goes. It goes. Notice how the rattlesnake will use its rattle a lot because it doesn't actually want to hurt anybody. Right. It doesn't want to use its venom. That's why it evolved to like scare people. Yeah, it's like sure. They don't care. They're still it's, gross. It's all and an snakes. instinctual thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, have, I don't care about animals whatsoever. I do whatever I want yeah. to them. I'm other sick than of dogs and cats. No, I'm sick of, I'm sick of nature coming back. You told me nature's coming back because uh, of COVID. Yeah, and I don't like it. It sucks. I don't like it at all. It sucks. Mm-mm. Get them out of here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I go to, the, I go, we just start I, burning the forest. I down. go to the zoo just to make sure the animals are still locked up. <laughs> yeah, you just go to the zoo and you go. Fuck you. Yeah. I just taunt bears and gorillas and shit. I yell murderer at yeah, them yeah. like I'm at an abortion rally. Mm-hmm. You go, you go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to go leave now because I can do that. Yeah. Fucking dumbass. Devin's like, you guys aren't feeding them too much, right? You want to want them too strong? You want them a little like lightheaded, a little yeah. woozy? A little I check weak. the bars. I go, yeah, this is sturdy. I go, build another one. Yeah. Yeah. This one needs more bars. I just I just see you outside the target tar, the tiger cage just shoving glass shards into a big steak. <laughs> Got a little gift for you, pal. Huh? Thought you were real funny. Well, the days of Laurel and Hardy are up. We don't need you for props anymore. We have CGI tigers. Mm. No, people go, oh, tigers are so intelligent. And then you see a guy with like four teeth. Literally four teeth who smokes meth and butt fucks homeless people. Mm-hmm. And he has like 40 of them that he like wrangled and like tricked into being in captivity. Yeah. But supposedly yeah. tigers yeah, they're are really just smart, incredibly intelligent. But they don't know they're in mm-hmm. Orlando. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this isn't. These are incredibly. If you're so smart. How'd you get to Florida? Yeah. If you're so smart, how come you're hanging out at the Margaritaville right. in Orlando? Yeah. How come a meth head gave you a tribal tattoo? <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> How did a guy who who got in a fatal sea do accident own you for yeah. 20 years? I saw shit Tiger King, okay? It's a bunch of retards wrangling you up. It's great. No, because people go, oh, tigers are so intelligent. It's like, and here's their king. He's right here. Yeah. He's, he's smoking meth. It's a gay meth head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a guy so retarded he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger King. <laughs> That's Tiger, what it's about. Yeah. Tiger King is, is only gay because he doesn't realize you can fuck women. He's yeah. that dumb. <laughs> he's like, well, I guess I got to fuck all these guys then. Yeah. I'm the Tiger King. I'm the Tiger King. I'm so retarded, I don't know about pussy. <laughs> I'm such a retard. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even figure ladies got anything down there. <laughs> Thank God that Tiger King shit's over. God, it, that, I, anytime, I never got into it once, Anytime by the way. I hear about it, I, get sh- I, get, I shudder. I get shivers mm-hmm. did thinking you, about the pandemic and all that bullshit, did that you, period of time. Did you get into uh, people going, uh, oh, a free, uh, who was the lady? Carol Baskin. Baskin. Yeah, yeah. a lot you, of impressions you, of her coming out. Oh God, I never, I never fell for that shit at all. She was played by Kate McKinnon like three weeks after the documentary came out. It was one of those things where they just like made a bunch of shit, before, like it hadn't even happened yet, and they're making it. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm glad they they were make, they were mixing it up back then because it was it was either that one week or then it was Kate McKinnon playing the piano and crying. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember that at all. Yeah. I do. Yeah, when I she do. was singing Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Well, I do miss. Not bad actually as a cover. Yeah, I mean she's a, you know completely worthless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> completely, she seems pretty talented. Completely worthless hypocrite of a woman. I mean they had. I think they were. I think they got Trump off stage so she, she could sing Hallelujah. Yeah, right. Wasn't yeah. Trump on the show five right. months earlier? They had him on the show three weeks prior, and they go, "Vote for this man." <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, well, oh, Babylon, how she has fallen. You saw that clip of Stephen Colbert where he's like, Trump, I'm so glad you're on the show because, you know, I, you know, I think you could do some good things as a uh, United States president. I think you've, you have a good track record. That. You're a good yeah. guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, when he went on Colbert in like 2015 or 2016, mm-hmm. Colbert was talking about how awesome Trump was to his face. He was like kissing his ass. Sure. They also had him on when he was just a scumbag real estate developer. Like they, nobody, everyone knew he but was what? like a shitty guy. They still had him on because it's a part of the game. It's only when he wants to run for the, you know, the true criminal of the country that they have to pretend like, hey, we don't accept criminals to run the country. Oh, right. You right. know what I mean? To be top, top G. Yeah. Why didn't the Central Park Five story ever yeah. hit their desk? You know, when he yeah. was just Donald Trump, the Apprentice guy. How yeah. come only it matters when he's president? I don't know, man. But I hope, I hope moving forward with Trump, I hope people just see Trump and they go, "Wheels up, King." Wheels up, King. wheels up, wheels King. up, King. No more vibe checks. You look at Trump, you say, "Wheels up, King." 
and you just let him rock and roll. Yeah. I just because you know what it you know what it kind of feels like. It feels like it's one of the best solo guitarists mankind has ever seen, and people keep trying to interrupt him as he's shredding. It's, it's and like go back to traditional music theory and the, no, let Trump right. do 30, 40 minutes. He's tr- like the 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 only great guitarist that everyone seems to give a fuck about the fact that he like fucked like kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Which the Ted only, Nugent did. Well, they all do. Yeah. Jimmy Page. I mean, they were fucking. You know, they were painting mm. the walls with children. <laughs> Yeah, to be good at guitar, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to be good at guitar in the seventies, you had to be a pedophile. Yeah, yeah. voodoo child. If yeah. Trump was in Led Zeppelin, like no, everyone would be like, hell yeah! <laughs> like everything mm-hmm. he does would be like fine. Yeah, know? yeah. There's something about fingering a child that makes you great, just with like that left hand. It has to be like some intertwined thing. It's probably connected I mean, in Jimmy, the brain somewhere. Jimmy Page kidnapped like a fourteen year old for like three months or whatever. Yeah. And Ted, just raped her across Europe. Ted Nugent married a fifteen year old in Hawaii, or like a fourteen mm-hmm. year old girl. Yeah. Led Zeppelin also, lion, they but. like stole all their fucking hit songs. Yeah, that's why they had that. Uh, uh, did they ever go They're in a blimp? tons of lawsuits. Yeah, they went in a blimp to hide from all the old black men mm. that are suing them. Led Zeppelin would just be traveling through the South mm-hmm. and they'd be like, Robert Plant would be like, roll the windows down, mate. <laughs> The tour bus, and they just listen to like some old black guy named like Willie like Shoeboat Johnson, and they just steal Stairway to Heaven from him. Right, they are they are they they are uh, like in lawsuits against yeah like like junkyard owning black people. Yeah, every They're like well Blind Lemon Jefferson versus Robert Plant. Blind Lemon. Blind Lemon Jefferson. Right. <laughs> No, you want to know why there's so many old homeless black people on the streets of this why country? Because they're all in lawsuits with Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Yeah, Led Zeppelin's in a, in a lawsuit with an old pair of overalls. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's like Medgar Evers versus Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it. With coffee starting at $5, yes, even without any customizations, and our bank accounts somehow always depleting, we are officially entering a dupe session. Most products do the same thing, but are priced differently solely based on the brand name. So a good duplicate, or dupe, is crucial for getting the highest quality at the best price. One dupe you definitely shouldn't sleep on, Raycon wireless earbuds. Say it with me, guys. Raycon, Raycon wireless, wireless earbuds. earbuds. Hell yeah. Raycon is premium audio at the uh, it's premium audio at the perfect price point. So you can listen to what you want, when you want, without breaking the bank. Um... I think that uh, someone might want to spend less on earbuds because uh, many situations in their life. Uh, but most importantly, I think uh, you'd want to spend less on your earbuds because uh, uh, you don't want the, the good people at the at the big corporations to be uh, you know making making a fool out of you. No, it's, you don't want to look at your bank statements at the end of the month, and uh, as we're entering a recession, and uh, realize you're. Um, Marching toward uh, some sort of unspeakable Death. Uh, evil, an uh, evil, yeah. That is mm-hmm. the conjuring from within your uh, f- uh, familial. Raycons uh, nest. are the people's headphones, and I have a pair, and I use yes. them anytime That's right. I need them. That's right, and they're perfect, That's and they're right. great. That's and right. I love Raycons. That's right. That's right. Everything same, everything Devin said. Yep, and you know what? You might not be an audio newbie, so you might not want to even spend a ton on your first pair anyway. You know. Like if you're getting really into sunglasses, you're not going to buy like a, a six hundred dollar pair of sunglasses. No, exactly. You buy like a these are a, a pair that you realize you go, oh, this is as nice as the. They work just as well same. as exactly. any wireless headphones mm-hmm. I've ever had, mm-hmm. and they're they're affordable That's and right. perfect. I love using these things. Yep. Their mission is to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. You can get a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of those other more big name tech brands out there that I don't even want to talk about. I don't even name by their name. I don't want to invite that evil. Emma just farted, I think. Emma did just While fart. looking at that bone. That's why I was laughing. Emma loves that bone I got for her today. She's looking at the, uh, there's a little pumpkin filler in it and she's been looking at oh, it like really? crazy. Yeah, she loves it. That's kind of sick bastard. Yeah. Gay. Man, she's sucking on it like a bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's my little baby. She's my little, she's my little yes, Riri baby. Yes, he, he took your leg. From her. Yep. Emma kind of looks like something that hatched out of an egg, don't you think? 
She does like, very dinosaur qualities about mm-hmm. her. Yeah. Very prehistoric. She qualities. looks like a live action Mario thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the John Leguizamo, Bob Hoskins movie. <laughs> the yeah. one where all, the one where the bad guys had small heads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's Emma. That yeah. one rolls. The the uh, where it's like Blade Runner, but Mario. Yeah, yeah I, loved, awesome. I, lo- I loved that movie. Yeah, it's really it's good. It's my actually. favorite movie. It's probably yeah, the greatest it, movie ever. Yeah, the only made. thing I love more than that movie is Raycon earbuds. Same. Because Raycon knows that in this economy, every purchase needs to be perfect. They offer buy now, pay later options. Right now, you can pay as low as $18 at checkout. That's what I'm saying. They're affordable. Right. They're for the people. They have an easy... The people's headphones. They have an easy and free return guarantee. They offer two years of product protection insurance for just a few bucks. They offer free domestic shipping and flat fee international shipping. They have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Uh... The features I really love that I use every day because I use these headphones and wear them is awareness mode, the noise a- isolation, and I like the crystal clear call quality. That's big for me because I'm typically cold calling people in the day mm-hmm. to uh, find out what type of sodas they carry. Mm-hmm. So I can, you know, sort of plan my dinners accordingly. You can hear the FBI crystal clear on Raycons. <laughs> and there's eight hours of playtime. Holy crow. So go to buyraycon.com slash lemon party today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash lemon party. Go to buyraycon.com slash lemon party today to get 15% off your Raycon order. But um, uh, but yeah, yeah. It was a weird week with, with, with the you know, Trump uh, yeah, he got being indicted. Uh, indicted and then the trans stuff and all that. What's the, what's the trans stuff that? Oh, the trans. Well, they, shooter. the guy, the There's guy, a shooter, you know, shooter, trans, trans, trans shooter. What's a lady, but and know, then like a that, day the, later, it was she, like the trans day of vengeance. Yeah, it's weird, vengeance, strange yeah, timing. No, but it's good. It's all good. It was Jason. odd. It's fine, and whatever YouTube it was odd. thinks about things, trans we guy think too, and trans guy shot up a school. No. Yeah, it, yeah, it does seem well, like we don't have any opinion on that. I was, yeah, I don't have an opinion on that. Other than into mental illness. Dylan Mulvaney's 366th day as a man did not go well. That's all I'll say. I heard Bud Light. Bud Light just sponsored the shooting. Is yeah, it brought to you? Brought to you by the beer garita. Yeah. Here's the, th- here's the thing about the trans. Sure, lay it on me. You got to understand, Jason. You got Can we just take a second? Can we take a second to? Re- Jace, this is what you gotta understand about it. It's, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Don't tell. Do you not understand Dude, it? Jace, no, he's in here. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't get it. No, he doesn't get it. Um, uh, it's, and it's not my job <laughs> to explain is, to anyone what's going on. This is your character who never has a point. <laughs> he never says that we don't even know what's going on. That's what I feel like people do. <laughs> yeah. I try to find out what the thing is to think. I go, because right. I don't believe in anything, right? So I just go, what is everybody, because it's all video games. So I just go, what is the video game think? And I go on Twitter and I can't find a concrete anything. I can't find it. I find people saying it's a uh, trans people are mentally ill and should be like killed. And then I find I find people saying nothing else. Yeah. Uh, uh, like uh, in terms of people saying the opposite of that, it's like it's all like a schizo babble and none of it seems correct to me. So I don't, I don't know what to think. Uh, so I'm so I'm going to say that the shooting didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't happen. Yeah. Did you, did just, you see the timestamps in the in the footage? In the and one uh, the shooter is wearing Vans, yes, and then the other then, one they're wearing Pumas. Yeah, well they're so. just like really into streetwear. You know, yeah. they did a costume change. <laughs> yeah, that's no, they, how you they, know they were trans. Is they're like Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, did you see he had three different three different outfit changes for the shooting? Dude, I wonder if someone is going to be a... a <laughs> like he goes backstage and just like puts a whole new dress puts on. He was running Sam into the Smith uh, costume. He was yeah. running into bathrooms and the Queer Eye guys were changing him as before he ran back out. <laughs> yeah, I would love... I would like honestly, an 80s montage of <laughs> I would, doing the makeover. I would love to see somebody doing a shooting dress in that Sam Smith costume he wore to the Emmys. The big gay anchor costume. Yeah. yeah. As, as far as like uh, uh, best dressed... Uh, school shooters. Mm-hmm. This one was uh, uh, one of the most mid I've seen. It was pretty mid. <laughs> pretty mid. It looked like uh, TJ from Recess. Yeah. 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 Pretty ba- mid. Baggy pants. Yeah. 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 I thought it was Bam Margera, honestly, <laughs> at first glance. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was busy slapping people at a restaurant in LA. Yeah. He was. Uh, Bam's really pissed because his wife uh, won't let him nut tap their kid. <laughs> He's trying to get nut tap rights in court. Uh-huh. He's like, on weekends, I kick him in the nuts. Right. Mm-hmm. And we laugh. Your Honor, like, I was on Jackass. Your Honor. Like, I was with Steve-O. 
<laughs> I did see, by the way, I did see one lady trying to say that if Republicans are never going to care mm-hmm. about children dying, then how will they? we ever get them to care about black and brown people? They tweeted that right after the uh, everybody died. In the I shooting. love using, you know, it's great. It's a great sign for this country that we, you know, immediately use the death of children to make a political point. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I've often I think s- it's healthy. I've often said if you hear there's a shooting and then you immediately Google what was the race and gender of the person <laughs> so you can know what bullshit thing to shove into the internet. Like yeah. your keyboard is smoking. Right. You're yeah. typing it in yeah. so mm-hmm. fast. Right, yeah. I think if you I think if you hear about like 18 kids getting slaughtered mm. and you go, what? Okay, they were white, they were trans. <laughs> yeah. And then you consult a matrix of like what bullshit gay retarded exactly. thing can I shove this into? Murder and death is just not bad enough for me. Yeah. I need to know like what they were. Right. I <laughs> I need to let people know I'm insufferable through this shooting. Here, I don't know if I'm a healthy guy. I don't know if I'm a healthy man. Like, I'm probably not, right? But my reaction when I saw I saw the, the video, and I got so tremendously sad, I almost started crying. The video of the... Of the, of the cops... Uh, shooter getting killed. Getting killed. And it was so incredibly sad that I, I just couldn't I couldn't like process it and I put it away yeah and then I just tried not to think about it and I didn't politicize it sure and I don't know maybe that's not healthy maybe I should you know well it's it's the most guilt-free footage I've ever seen in one of because I had the same feeling but then I watched it on my podcast hate watch on my, out tomorrow uh <laughs> I cried and then I thought maybe I can mono- monetize this a little bit. But then I realized there's no there's no sadness in the footage other than the shooter getting killed and that's not sad to me. No, but it's sad that Just that seeing, person Just watching them go the cops go through a school and seeing like, you know, art on the walls of kids, that yeah made me very sad. We almost turned it off. Mm. But we fought through. <laughs> we fought through and we got 25 minutes out of it, goddamn it. We fought through and YouTube has already put a censor on it. Nice. It hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, no, I do. It's... I do a shamefully whenever I hear there's a big new school shooting, and I do. I will say I do figure out that it wasn't a white guy who did it. There is part of me that's like, all right, you know, sure, like, sure, yeah, yeah. At least I, I can poke my head out on Twitter like tomorrow. Sure, <laughs> yeah, like a like a, a fucking groundhog, mm-hmm. like seeing a shadow well, and stuff. It's yeah. just it's one of these. It's another one of these like weird simulation things to me, where it's just everything lines up too weirdly and perfectly and odd nowadays. Where then I read that the shooter was really sad about two women that she was in love with that were on the women's basketball team. And they died in a car crash separately, not in the same car, just randomly mm. separately. Uh, I don't know. Then this week, like right after the women's basketball is like the most talked about thing. I've, I've it's the only time I've ever watched it. Like I watched it this morning. Then right after the shooting, not sure I even saw like the Biden administration say anything like about like this is bad. They just immediately started like posting like trans people are under attack and shit like. Yeah, that. yeah. And I don't know if what I'm getting's wrong. But it's just fucking strange. It's mm-hmm, like yeah. to right, a couple days right after a trans person shoots a bunch of people at a school mm. to see the president be like, trans people, right. we well, need to protect. President. It's kind of like, you know, like like if right after Columbine, like George Bush was like, well, I love the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dylan looked cool. Yeah. I think he was cool as shit. Do we have any of the footage in slow-mo? <laughs> Can we slow down the footage in slow-mo? Like the Matrix? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope they don't make a second one of those fucking yeah. pieces of shit. It's the it's the footage of him getting told about 9-11, but the guy just comes up and he goes, um, somebody's trying to ruin the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like... <laughs> Sir, somebody is, uh, somebody's trying to ruin the Matrix with a shooting. <laughs> Sir, uh, the Matrix Revolutions has already come out. <laughs> Uh, sir, there's uh, two uh, uh, twins with dreads, and they're sick as hell. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, when people go, uh, someone always goes, ah, did you see what uh, Biden said after the shooting? And I'm like, no. And they're like, hey, I watch this. And I just open up a video, and Biden just, like, walks. He's like, walks out a thing, and then he just falls down a flight of stairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like, can you believe this is our U.S. president? I'm like, yes, he does this every yeah. day. They yeah. go, can you believe Biden's response to the shooting? And they cut to Hector Salamanca, like in a like ringing ding, a bell. Ding, ding, like, ding. Right. They're like, we we go to we go to President Biden to see his response, and then it's just him biting into a sandwich, but all the meat falls out the other end. And he goes, what the hell? 
confused. <laughs> he's just using the sandwich to talk. He's mm-hmm. just like, a, like it's a sock puppet. Yeah, yeah. It is pretty great. I mean, the last like six years of school shootings, our responses have been. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't. You didn't let me finish the sentence. <laughs> so the funny. last six years. <laughs> The last six years uh, of school, because yeah. we've been going like 20 years strong. I know, it's yeah. all the time. But the last six years, we've had Joe Biden, and then we've also had Trump, who also just sucked at talking about school shootings. Yeah, there's no, you either get like a guy that doesn't even know he's on Earth, <laughs> or a guy that thinks he runs the Earth. Right. <laughs> and they both sound horrible. Right, because Trump would talk about it like a guy who's trying to get pussy when a girl's really sad. Because <laughs> Trump would be like, wow, so sad, brutal. Yeah. Anyway, can we go back to your place? <laughs> He sounds like Trump sounded like a guy trying to get pussy at a yeah. funeral. <laughs> like he was the guy from Wedding yeah, yeah. Crashers. <laughs> Trump's his like, meatloaf! Ma! Tremendously sad. Tremendously. Tremendous. I know a place just right over here we can go talk about it. What if we get some drinks? It's right next to my apartment. I know a great place. Uh, it closes in 45, but I know the guy. A little stay late. A stay late. We can talk about this crazy white psycho. You know, I don't want the night to end. I still need to mourn. You want to go up to my pad? It'd be a great move if Trump, when he was president and school shootings were happening, or if he becomes president again and school shootings obviously will happen yeah, again. Yeah, keep happening. Keep course, happening, yeah. unfortunately. If he just was like, white people, tell me about it. <laughs> white people shake my head. It's the only time he uses it to denounce white people. He goes, I'm telling you, white right. people. If he gets elected again and he's like, well, I only have four more years, so fuck it. And then he just goes hard the other way. <laughs> Greatest. He goes, I'm trans and I hate whiteies. Visit my GoFundMe. Yeah, Trump comes out with huge <laughs> yeah. tits. Yeah, Trump has huge tits. Yeah. He goes, I'm in an unsafe housing situation. Go to my GoFundMe. <laughs> Trump was like, I was recently in San Francisco. They stole my MacBook. <laughs> I'm, I have a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a GoFundMe for $9 trillion. <laughs> he solves the debt crisis somehow <laughs> through a trans GoFundMe. <laughs> Yeah, he starts like a trans only fans. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think I paid off Stormy Daniels? So she gave me a clit. She gave me her tits. I put them on. I have Stormy Daniels pussy. Stormy Daniels pussy. Every day at the White House, we're going to play Black Panther 2, The Woman King. <laughs> Till. <laughs> Till. We're going to play it. <laughs> Great movie. Do you think Trump behind closed doors is like, if I had to do it all over again, I still would fuck Stormy? <laughs> I still would fuck her. Probably. Isn't that what he did? He fucked her and then paid her off, right? Yeah, I don't. I don't even understand that either because I don't know why Wait, she's not being charged being a prostitute. I think the whole thing is. is I didn't know you backwards. could get paid off for sex. No, I thought prostitution's illegal. Mm-hmm. I don't really get it. I don't get it. And and frankly, I think she should have paid him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same. To suck that marvelous cock. To, to suck off Trump, mm-hmm. you should have to pay that man mm-hmm. just to get a peep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do love that she's a celebrity now just for being like a scumbag of a woman who's fucking terrible people for money. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's like the equivalent, like to them, it's like the equivalent of like, yeah, I fucked Hitler, but I said his dick was weird. So <laughs> give me a Mark Twain award. <laughs> she gets the like, Mark Twain yeah, award. Yeah, yeah, Stephen Colbert's just like, can you believe the woman who fucked Hitler said his dick was weird? That's tremendous for us. Because I would love it. Yeah. If it was the opposite and she's like, like she came out about the Trump sex thing and she's like, honestly, baby arm, huge cock, fucked the shit out of me. Made me come. She's like 12 inches yeah. hard. Good angle to it yeah. too. Curved up. Mm-hmm. But then she's like, he said the N word a lot, <laughs> but huge hog. Yeah, yeah. Really hog. satisfied me more he than said, anybody. He said the N word. He wore a do-rag when we did it. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, he did put sneakers on to fuck me. Held a gun to my head. <laughs> Best nut of my life. Made though. it hotter, honestly. But he's he bad. didn't ask for consent, but I gave it to him in that moment because it was because he was just fucking rearranging my guts. He called Putin while he was railing me. <laughs> put him on speaker. Put him on speaker. Putin cheered him on. He FaceTimed Putin. Said, "Hannes, you this pipeline, huh?" It is amazing Trump wasn't on Snapchat throughout his presidency, like act, like act, like just him fucking Melania from the back and just mm-hmm. sending a, a quick snap. Yeah. yeah, playing like little boozy and stark. <laughs> Do you think yeah. they fuck? Other than gasoline, they probably don't fuck him and Melania. He probably fucks just like prostitutes all the time and not her. I bet she jacks him off a lot. I bet while he watches porn. Think so? I bet he gets uh, Trump does the thing where he gets sucked off and he just does both hands like this mm-hmm. the whole time. Yeah, and that's about it. 
There's something about the. I just feel like they have an agreement, and I don't think she touches him. Probably at, not. At, anymore. I think she hates him. Yeah. Do you think he shaves his armpits? Trump? Yeah. I don't know. I if just, you've seen it his just occurred to me. I couldn't imagine what his armpit hair looks like. He probably doesn't have a lot of armpit hair. I bet he shaves it. Would be my guess. I bet he's a sick freak. He doesn't seem like a hairy guy. I don't he's, think he'd have a bush either. He's got that like that whatever that white type of person is, but yeah. they don't they don't like have that, hair. Like a Dilbert body. <laughs> You mean you don't have that much body hair, do you? Uh, I mean, I got like uh, some on my chest. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't. I have more. I feel like I, I, you know, more more like Italiany Lebanese, you mm-hmm. know, white whites. Like I feel like they get away with not as much uh, hair. You're hairier than me. For I feel sure. like I'm hairier. You're yeah. very, you're very hairy. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and frankly, we won't, we won't stand for it. We've been mean to talk about it. Well, that's why we got Manscaped. Let's go to the app. <laughs> do we have Manscaped this week? No. Um, no, we don't. They gave up on us. No, they actually resigned us. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, there we go. Love you, <laughs> yeah, They re <re-s- laughs> they, they resigned us, and they said, "Can you guys stop doing jokes about the movie Tell?" <laughs> they go, "We can see you guys regretting the joke as you're telling it, so stop saying it." I feel like Trump has orangutan hair all over his body, like yeah. long, wispy red hair. He probably does. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right. I want to see what I want to see his uh, his titties. Yeah, have you I seen want... the picture of him with his dick out? And he's that's getting... a fake picture. I know it's fake, but it's probably what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, of course it's a fat guy with a tiny dick. That's what it looks like. Have you seen it where he's getting spray tanned? Yeah, yeah, and his, his dick's out, and it's like a, a him in the mirror. I don't like this whole thing where it's like it, who cares? Like I don't care. Like this whole like making fun of guys for having small dicks. Now it's it's hack. Oh, look, I don't care about it the doesn't dick stuff. matter. I want to know if he has really big nipples. Who cares if your dick is small? <laughs> the guy ruined your life for four years. Like that's... he ruined my life. No, you're just, he ruined all oh, these people's lives yeah, and make yeah, fun yeah. of the small dick it's like he won what's crazy i realized we're coming in three years we're coming up on 10 years of people losing a decade of their life mm-hmm. devoted to just being upset yeah, all the time that of, is so about, crazy in mm-hmm. three years 10 years go in, by from 2016 so you have 20 so you have 2024 2025 and then we're back to when trump was running versus hillary and all that 2016 shit. to 2026 yeah. will mark a 10 right. year period where everyone you made lost them, the whole 10 years they of hated life. a guy so much they made themselves retarded and then yeah. they, they ruined all art we saw and everything we saw people uh completely renounce all of their artistic uh, and creative work and mm-hmm. what they believed in mm-hmm. and family members and uh, I mean you talk about people that just like erased their own history yeah. completely their own identity their no, own I mean, culture in 2016 like I remember, remember the first Thanksgiving after Trump was elected mm-hmm. it was people like literally being like yeah like my blind 94 year old <laughs> uncle uh, showed up to Thanksgiving this year so I stabbed him <laughs> Yeah, because that that was like um, it was the re- return of like um, people were basically saying like it's a swash to, like the GOP is like, that it's he basically... was, it's literally the same mm-hmm. as like he's a Nazi Nazi mm-hmm. yeah. yeah 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 there are gonna be people who like wake up in their forty and they're like I was just trying to get pussy <laughs> yeah I was just trying to get my dick sucked in Silver Lake and now I'm trans <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh yeah we know a few comics like that. Yeah, I knew comics where the, like they would just show up out of nowhere, and all of a sudden they're just like, "I'm gay. I'm 41, and I'm now gay." Yeah, mm-hmm. no, a lot of people. I don't became, fuck anybody. I don't. Yeah, well, a lot of people became gay for like five years. In the past two years, they're shedding the gay thing. People now. became gay over. People yeah. became gay for the pussy, which is kind of true. Mm-hmm. A, a, mm-hmm. A, <laughs> some some fellas out there don't, like Devin. Don't do, Devin, back me up on this. I, they, no, that s- is true, Jay. They so, became gay for the pussy. Some fellas will do anything for the pussy. Mm-hmm. They'll turn themselves gay. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll make guys love pussy so much they'll fuck guys and make out with them mm-hmm. to get a to, to get, get a pussy girl. Yeah, if it turns a girl on to fuck a guy, a guy will do it. A guy will do anything for pussy. I have a I have a friend who does know somebody from high school. They were telling me the story. They knew a guy in high school who pretended to be gay for. Like four years, so he could go to like girls' sleepovers and like that's amazing. Geez. Yeah, like, oh my god. Yeah, and they'd be like, yeah, we get a dress in front of him. He's gay. He's like the Serpico <laughs> of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just going into the back room and a Mikey goes, "Boys, I'm in," and it's glorious. <laughs> yeah, just tape- doing the Google Glass thing. Yeah, we're just recording. <laughs> yeah, just taping down the hardest fourteen-year-old penis of oh, all time. Oh, just duct taping like. <laughs> He's duct taping it right. to his leg. Yeah, he's he's walking back out of the bathroom just completely bent over. <laughs> like Ben when his back is bad. Uh, yeah. He goes, Okay, ladies, now let's let's do a kissing contest. <laughs> There's just pre cum just seeping down my leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Or this person's leg. This person's, yeah. You ever see a person and you can tell they were made from pre-cum? <laughs> like, no one ever actually came in the making, mm-hmm. in the making of them? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Like, they were an indie production? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Fox Searchlight was, is their dad. No yeah. money was pumped into the making of this. Yeah, they're, they're the puffy chair of a person. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> they're like, this was made for seven grand by the Duplass Brothers. Duplass Brothers' first movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there is that thing where it's like, this cum was in oxygen for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, this was clear. Mm-hmm. You know, you were a clear cum. <laughs> you weren't a milky cum. Full of nutrients. A clear cum. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were a glassy cum. Yeah. Glassy, yeah. Yeah, you were like water. Mm-hmm. You want to be you want to be a milky cum. I think that's what all that's, of us yeah, were. That's yeah, the milky. Yeah. We cum. had we all had to have been milky cum. <laughs> yeah, you got to be a cum that like hurts your dad because it's so thick. Yeah, you got to be a cum that like later in the day your dad was like, man, I I don't know, I feel fucking empty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be light. The, you want to be the cum where afterwards your dad goes to pee. And he's like, my dick kind of hurts. <laughs> yeah, is my that, dick hurts. Is that kind of like did I cum too much and it hurt my dick? Yeah. You know when you... I don't know. Maybe this is only me. I'm like... I, we, I think you're about to say the same thing I was going to say. Sometimes I, I think I know what you're going to say. If I've come a hard come or yes. twice in a day, it feels like my ass is oh. empty. Oh, yeah. You've brought this up to me. I don't feel that. It feels like my... Like my, a cavernous ass? It just kind of feels like I'm empty in my buttocks. Right. Right. Are you like a camel? That's where you keep your cum Maybe in your cum's ass? Maybe my cum's in my ass. <laughs> maybe you're gay. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, oh, you're, I don't shoot my own cum. Why would I waste it? I shoot other guys' cum. Yeah. You're not... Your nuts are just two ass cheeks in the back of you. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say, oh, what were you going to say? I was going to say sometimes when I I like have sex and like <laughs> if it's like if it's like vigorous sex, I feel like my dick gets like beat up a little bit. And then oh, I, yeah. and then I go to pee and it feels like my meatus hurts, which is like the opening to your penis. Yeah, it's that's I've meatus. had that too. Oh, yeah, yeah that's that normal. That's yeah, yeah, what yeah. happens. Yeah. You ever had the actual uh, weak in the knees feeling? That's bizarre. I've had that. That's yeah. weird. I've had that. That's great that's when you feel like man i, I knew i, I would, got a moment out yeah. of life you guess you, you guess that's why like, i knew i left my girlfriend because i almost blacked out like the first time we had sex <laughs> like i legitimately like i went up to go get a rag and i like almost like just yeah, yeah, yeah. off a coffee when you table. if you're it, walking to the bathroom like walter jr that's when you know you yeah. fucking had great sex what i what i what i what i held a wall and i go ooh, <laughs> and i look back i go this is the one yeah when you when you when you put your hand on the wall and you go, Dad killed Uncle Hank, you know you had great sex. I so what I was gonna say so n- none of yeah. us were all thinking the same thing. <laughs> no. None of us. We were all the same we thing. all had separate pickets. So my thing I thought you were gonna say is you come so hard that you have to like when you're peeing later you like just reach down to make sure you have both your balls still. Like you came so hard, your body sacrificed one of them, and it dissolved, yeah. and you shot it out like a kidney stone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you came a pearl into her pussy, yeah, and it, now it's going to turn into something that grows it's like up one to of those, kill you. Uh, those dragon dildos that lay eggs. Maybe that's the feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's the feeling I'm talking about. I don't. I mean, I'm I'm kind of joking, but like it's there's some sort of empty feeling in my hips or my I, I don't know around the dick back no i get it it's empty i really the whole thing is so fucked the way the baby comes out of the pussy and stuff the whole thing is bullshit i really think it should be an egg it should be an egg it should it should they should lay an egg that we hatch no you like put it if you don't and here's the thing yeah your wife gives a birth to an egg it comes out of her pussy like a a couple days after you come in her and you can take that and just put it in the freezer and then when you're ready to have a you're ready to be a father then you mm-hmm. have that you could take it out of the freezer and you like put it in the microwave to like de-thaw it mm-hmm. like you, de- you defrost it or yeah. you run it under yeah. hot water right? yeah. and then it just it comes out and it starts walking around right. and calling you gay <laughs> I agree mm-hmm. Yeah, and it should you, be like that if you break that egg Republican senators get really pissed off at you <laughs> right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah guys in trucks try there's to a lot of liberals you. out there making omelets <laughs> I just saw a pink haired girl throw an egg on the ground. And I don't know if that was store bought or if that was out of her cooter. But all I know is I'm yeah. pissed the fuck off. There's a big egging ban. <laughs> Supreme Court. But no more ding dong ditching. No more. It should be Those an are egg. Those precious though. lives. It should absolutely be an egg, and it's complete bullshit that it comes out like a slimy salamander. Mm-hmm. Well, what, it comes out it like be, something you go fishing with. Like, well, it's cat, like you put on an end of a hook to catch a catfish. There is something about disgusting. There is something about the way we. It's like, not right. 
It's not. It's sin food. <laughs> They're full of sin. <laughs> They're full of sin. <laughs> They're full of sin. <laughs> You just you're just like that preacher character in Little Nicky, <laughs> who was played by Quentin Tarantino, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like this fire is burning. Um, it would be tight because humans we actually have like one of the quickest birth cycles because um, be, the fact that we stand upright means our hip uh, bones are a lot more narrow, so it's harder for us to give birth. So we have to give birth a lot easier, like horses give birth they're fully developed they can like be running within 20 minutes of being mm. born so it would be tight if just like a whole fucking like five-year-old came out of a woman's pussy yeah well, they yeah. just walk out like hasbola <laughs> 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 the uh, babies are born with they don't have uh they have like way more bones than they're supposed to mm-hmm. and they don't have kneecaps and stuff because when they're in a uh when they're in the womb their fucking legs and shit. It's crazy how they're well. They how they're also, packed in there. It's they like need to a, squeeze through the hip bones because the hip bones are so tight. Yeah. So all their shit is it's like quadruple jointed. It's insane. Yeah. Stuff. They mm-hmm. could like suck their own dick if they wanted to by bending back behind their ass to like they're crazy. It's you human evolution. A, it's training yeah. to be thrown in basements and, and <laughs> exactly. trafficked. Yeah. You can take a baby. It's traffic training. You could take a baby and crumple it up like a, a thing of newspaper mm-hmm. if mm-hmm. you wanted. To. You could just mold it into like a a, a nice ball mm-hmm. if you wanted. To. Yeah, Should that do that. Our sister's baby, I did see it like playing on the floor and it grabbed both of its feet and like just like reached, like ripped them over its own head. Yeah, because nothing's grown yet. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's, but it, it goes, it, it hurts us um, in terms of our survival. Mm-hmm. The, the way the, the way the baby is born, I'm about to sound really retarded, but the way the baby is born for us to be uh, like have bigger craniums and like bigger brains to like mm-hmm. be more intelligent, the soft spot and all that stuff. It's totally fucked, but it allows us to be uh, evolutionary much more intelligent the way, uh, we're, but it, it makes mm-hmm. us incredibly vulnerable well, for in, years in that gestation We're in period. the middle of evolution, so like in a thousand years, like every woman will look like, you know, fucking just Kim Kardashian, basically. Mm-hmm. Like they'll have insane Child big bearing hips. hips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's how w- ladies are going to look like, but maybe. If so, we were born in the wrong time. Am I right, guys? I mean, that's why like hardworking women from like you know, lands that aren't easy, like America, usually mm-hmm. have big hips and yeah. they have like more supple, you like know, Irish, asses. Yeah, and, yeah, Irish women just shit a baby out in a field. Catholic women have like you know because they're bred to fucking shoot out kids <laughs> and mm-hmm. not die. Right. By the way, what is the rate of like if you don't get you know go to the hospital and you just have to have the baby right now? Like in movies and shit, they always die. But I feel like it's not the, the baby or the mom. The mom. The mom dying. Oh, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, when they're like out in a but field. But even in movies now, like post-apocalyptic movies, like they'll always just die because there's no doctors mm-hmm. and shit. But right. like how right. necessary is that? I feel I, I've seen videos of cops delivering babies like on the side so, of the road and the woman's fine. I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure uh, like if it's dangerous to after a certain point to keep having children. I think then women kind of just kept getting pregnant over and over and over uh-huh. until they just sort of pieced out. Gotcha. So they became these, uh, you know, they viewed themselves as like these machines for uh, God to channel. Uh, What's the his most life necessary through? stuff for a woman to have at the hospital when giving birth? Like, what is really hot that? water? Hot water. They and, always need hot water in movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hot like water towels. Yeah. And some ice chips. I guess painkillers or inject them with yeah. stuff or, yeah. Diet Coke. Coke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Some Takis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just doing a, give, give me doing a, a mukbang yeah. while you're giving a, birth. A PSP. Yeah. <laughs> some fam. We need hot water and Family Guy clips. Stat. <laughs> Just watching Family Guy as your son is yeah. born. Yeah. This bird long ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling out your phone. Right. This to is my, watch family. Yeah, and then you name the kid. Chris Griffin, you know, Mulroney or whatever your last name is. Uh, oh, I named all my kids after the family guy kids. <laughs> this is Brian. This is Stewie. This is uh, Meg. God bless the guy who named his kid after Seth MacFarlane. God bless that person. Is there a guy because of that? family guy. I'm sure that someone goes. And that kid died in 9 11. <laughs> You only name your children after famous people that almost died in 9-11. Yeah, but then. my children, Seth MacFarlane, Mark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. Steve Ranazizi. <laughs> and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Uh, we're at a we're at an hour twenty. Yeah, let's go over. Want to head to the Patreon? I need to get some water and take a shit. This so. is the Kobe's eighty-one point game, by yep. the way, that yep. we were playing the whole time. Yep. They yeah, just started so the if fourth. You, if you want to see what happens in Kobe's eighty-one point game, subscribe check it out to online. The Patreon. Fifty-five points in the second half. Suck my dick. He had sixty-two points in three quarters three weeks earlier. Would have had more. Devin, it's it's nice he to played in the fourth when things mattered. You know. This is the uh, one, literally when things matter. When things matter. Yeah. No one watches the NBA anymore or knows what it is. It's worthless. I it's literally watched completely. women's college basketball this morning, and I was like, wow, this no. is great, I guess. No, your TV is just for uh, Apple AirPlay. That's all a TV is for now. Yeah. It's for nothing else. I just watch YouTube videos of insane people with GoPros oh, attached yeah. to their head, like, give Border Patrol problems. It's better no, entertainment than I, anything out there. I watch, like, fishing channels that I mm-hmm. like, Will and Don, and then I'll, like, uh, I'll watch the, you know, when the Roku thing goes... Uh, uh, the screensaver. It's yeah, the I watch the setting. Roku. City. I watch that. I like that. My favorite. Mm-hmm. I don't watch any, uh, TV. Sucks ass. I'll watch you know, certain shows. I'll watch, but for the most part, I, I'm on YouTube and mm-hmm. I'm watching a guy just open doors. <laughs> just a lot of a guy with a camera on his hat, mm-hmm. and he's just opening the door, <laughs> walking in, looking at people, walking out. <laughs> better. Much better. Much better. Uh, Devin is Devin is hate watch pod. Yes. Uh, but the Patreon, if you want to. Uh, support and watch more stuff is patreon.com slash lemma party uh we just finished a sketch today that we're going to shoot this weekend so that's yes. cool uh we're coming up with merch that we're going to do mm-hmm. so we're going to do merch and stuff and i'm um, trying to think it anything else but uh, i don't know if this is the patreon or the regular or what's going on who knows but i really have to i really have to pee i have to pee too and i'm i'm sorry guys if we talk we don't talk about trump usually and, we, oh, right. and I'm sorry I had to talk well, he about... In, he got indicted, so... I'm sorry I talked about school shootings, too. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm those sorry don't if I didn't happen have, either. And I'm sorry <laughs> if I didn't have good opinions on it or whatever. I don't even think I had an opinion on it. It's just that they bummed you just me out and they s- make me sad. You just said trans a mm-hmm. bunch. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. trans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think your biggest takeaway you want people to know is no matter what happens, you hate gay people. That's and that's what there you want go. the people to know. So yeah. just as long as you cleared it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I think... I, 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 uh, something happens, right? Shooting or like some big Trump gets indicted, or some uh, some guy gets uh, killed that shouldn't have by the cops, and I I don't I go Ben, reserve your judgment. You gotta you gotta get more evidence first. You gotta you gotta look at this objectively. You can't go to your default response. Go to Anthony Camille's Twitter, <laughs> find out what his opinion is, and then be a uh, be a vessel for it. Yeah, be a complete mirror of what whatever Anthony Camille thinks about what's going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Let the let the those guys let them outsource your thinking mm-hmm. to people like Anthony Camille. That's yeah, what I say. I agree too. I love you, Anthony Camille. Just please stop. I, I don't know. Just <laughs> Ant- please. I just love cut you, it out. Anthony. You're so funny. God damn You're it. You're so it's fucking just, funny. It's so insane at this point. But I love you so much. You're so funny. But mm-hmm. stop so sharing funny. videos of black people yeah. on Twitter fighting. You're so funny. Fighting. Throw your cell phone into the Atlantic Ocean, please. <laughs> Love you, Anthony. Love Love you. you. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. (laughs)